Hey there, hope you're going well. I'm Jade the Beamer and I have two reasons to celebrate. Number one, a new setup. So this is obviously in front of my bookshelves. I really hope that this setup works better visually and I have more room to move. Let me know down below if you like this better or if you're nostalgic for the classic yellow wall. I'm kind of bringing it with me with this outfit. The second reason to celebrate is that I've almost hit 20 subscribers. To all of the 19 of you that have subscribed, thank you so much. If you haven't yet, please click that red button down below. It means so much to me and it means that you won't miss out on any cool pop culture goodness in the future. Without further ado, let's get on with today's video, which is pretty much a big haul. So I haven't really hauled anything since Christmas. I've gotten stuff over the holidays and the new year, so I have a lot to show you. And this is of course only the nerdy stuff in terms of books, gamery things, that kind of deal. To the people watching who might have gotten me something that isn't in this video, it doesn't mean I don't love and appreciate it, it just means that it wasn't quite nerdy enough to make the cut. Let's get right in! <laughs> Starting with the Christmas haul, I only got two books for Christmas and again I think it's because people are scared to buy me books because of the many that I have admittedly but of course I love getting books, they're my favourite thing. So the first book I have to show you today is Eat, Shoots and Leaves by Lynn Truss. I think it's a cute cover, it's a hardback and this is a non-fiction so it's all about punctuation and grammar and it seems quite humorous so I'm excited to give this one a go. I've read the word spy, um, I think it might be similar to that so I'm excited to get into this one. The second book that I got for Christmas is probably my favourite Christmas present, at least one of them. It was because I didn't expect to get it at all, I hadn't heard of it so it was new, it's beautiful and it's one of my favourite favorite things which is poetry and that is Violet Bent Backwards Over the Grass by Lana Del Rey. If you recognize that name it's because Lana Del Rey is a pop singer. Got that summertime, summertime sadness. That one. And she wrote a poetry collection apparently. I didn't even know that. Um, so I was so happy to get this as a gift. The cover is so beautiful and inside there's just beautiful photography from Lana as well. It just looks like such a beautiful and lyrical read. I like Lana as a songwriter so I'm sure I'll love this poetry collection. Really happy I got this one. Stepping away from the books I got for Christmas, I also got some random nerdy stuff and the first of which is this Honey Dukes lunchbox. Obviously themed from Harry Potter. Honey Dukes is the sweet shop and it just looks like one of the bags from the films so I thought that was super Cute. Speaking of Harry Potter, I also got a pocket watch. So it's Harry Potter Hogwarts on the front. On the back it's this cute flower design and inside is the watch. So in the future, whenever I need to tell someone the time, I can just be like, okay I've got this. Moving into gaming, so there are many consoles obviously, there are many games and this is a dear topic to gamers. Which console do you like the best? Friends can be lost over this question and my answer is always going to be the PlayStation. It doesn't matter what rendition of it, I've played all of them apart from the newest one, the 5, and it's just it's superior. <laughs> what can I say? <laughs> I love the console itself, I love all of the games that are on it, and I think the controller is the simplest and the best. My favourite game of all time, Dragon Age Origins. I played that bad boy on the PS3. And so I was super happy to get a PlayStation mug for Christmas. It's super cool, it's got the PlayStation logo on the front, and the handle is a controller, which I think is so unique and cool. There's the controller buttons on the back 
And I love mugs. You got this Spider-Man one right here. Got a Harry Potter one here. We've got another Hogwarts one here. Love mugs. I don't know if I'm gonna use this one because it seems to be too precious. But then again, I have hoarded a lot of mugs. Do you use all of them? Let me know if I'm alone in this. <laughs> also keeping it gamery, I play D&D, which is known as Dungeons and Dragons, a role-playing fantasy game. And one of my other favourite Christmas presents was a dice bag. So up until I've gotten this dice bag I've been keeping my dice in such precarious places where I'd keep losing them in plastic bags which just is not fancy. It's not the aesthetic we want. And so I was so pleased to get this. It's like dragon scales and obviously rainbow because everything could be a bit gayer. It's just so cool and I love it so much and as you can hear I've already put all my dice into it safe and sound. So really love this bag. I got one DVD for Christmas and that was Mulan, the live action version. And I've already watched this. Um, I did really enjoy it. If you'd like a review of that, please let me know and I'll make one for you. Super happy to get this one. Empowerment, Disney, it's everything you could want. <laughs> Very cool gift. And the last thing I have to show you that I received for Christmas is something that one of my friends made me, and that is these painted drawers. This is a bookish gift. If you know what it's from, please let me know in the comments below. No cheating. I'm gonna reveal the answer in five, four, three, two, one. So me and the friend that gave this to me really holds the Court of Thorns and Roses series dear to our hearts. I don't know if you can see it, but it's down on this shelf. We we love that series to this day. We're excited about A Court of Silver Flames. We bonded over our love for Resand, and they gave me the book for my 18th birthday, so I just think it has a lot of sentimentality as well as just being an awesome series. In the first book, A Court of Thorns and Roses, the main character, Feyre, is a painter. And while she's living with her sisters and her father, she paints each of the drawers in their house to represent her sisters and herself. So we've got Elaine, who's like the spring flowers. We've got Nesta, who's fire. And we've got Feyre herself, who is the night sky. So I just thought it was super cool and thoughtful that I got this as a gift not only to represent our friendship, but also to remind me of the series and make it come to life a bit. Since Christmas, I've done some guilty book shopping. The first of which is The Easy Kitchen, 150 recipes. I don't think I've hauled a cookbook on my channel before, so this has the honour of being the first. And I don't own many cookbooks, so that's probably why. But I was really keen to um, pick this one up. It has some great recipes in it. It's got all different types of cuisines. It's got casseroles and beef and steak. It's got butter chicken and nuggets and salmon. It's got a pasta section which we have to love with carbonara and bolognese and lasagna and all of that goodness. It's got a light meals and sides section which is salads and soups and curries. It's got a dessert section with cakes and tarts and muffins and all of those delicious treats. And it even has a sauces part so you can learn to make your own like applesauce and mushroom sauce and all sorts of dressings. So overall I just think it will be really useful and it has recipes in it that I'd really like to learn how to make, ones that I already enjoy and new ones that I'd like to try. I've gotten into cooking in the past year or so. I love the process of cooking and experimenting and having that end result to enjoy. So I'm really keen to try out some of the recipes in here. I think it'll be really useful. Another book that I've gotten for myself is one that has has blown up in the YA community. It's one that I've been really excited about and that is Daisy Jones and the Six by Taylor Jenkins Reid. And I've been excited about this one because I believe it's a book about a band and one of my all-time favourite books is The Bright Siders just here on my shelf which is about a band. That features in my favourite books of all time video. If you're interested I'll leave the link in the description below. But yeah I'm super keen to get into this one. I don't know too much 
much about it, so I really want to pick this one up soon. Kind of like the cookbook, the next book that I got for myself features around an activity that I like to do, and that is A Little Bit of Yoga by Megan Stevenson. So it's this cute little hardcover book, and it's all just about yoga, how to do it, what it's for, different positions, and ways to be mindful. I've been doing yoga for about three years now, and I've really found it useful in terms of flexibility and strength, but also in terms of meditation and mindfulness. So I thought it would be good to pick this one up and learn more about it and ways that I can improve. And I just think it's a cute little book. I have six more books to show you, and these are ones that I picked up secondhand, and they're quite antique. I picked them up because they were old, but also because they seemed interesting. The first of which is Narrative Poetry by John R. Crossland. I don't know if you can see that, but it's quite an old little hardback book. Before I found this one, I hadn't even heard of narrative poetry, so I'd really like to learn what that means, and I think this will be a cute little collection to do so. The next one I picked up is also poetry. I love me some poetry, and that is The Penguin Book of Chinese Verse. I haven't read much Chinese poetry. I've read some of it, and I think it's beautiful and very descriptive and natural. I'm really happy to pick this one up just to read about a different culture and the way that poetry of this style is written and I think that's just so cool and it's such a beautiful little collection. I'm excited to get to this one. I'm gonna be doing a huge reorganizing of my shelves soon. If you'd like me to do a bookshelf tour please let me know. I'd really like to do that for you. I have these two big bookcases behind me. I have another little shelf and then I have another bookcase as well so I'd be happy to show you those if you'd like. The next book I have to show you today is another poetry book and that is The Poet's Tongue by W. H. Auden and John Garrett and this is the second part. I couldn't find the first part so this will have to do. I have heard of W. H. Auden, he is a famous poet but I haven't heard of John. It was just a beautiful cover that admittedly drew me in but it also I really would love to read some more poetry. I did like Auden so I think it would be good to read more of his work and overall just have a cool time with this old book. The next book I have to show you is the last poetry book of today, and that is 20th Century Poetry Chosen by Harold Monroe. And this is a very old edition, it's quite beat up, I'm really scared to even hold it. Nakey has a beautiful little embossment of a bird and a gold spine, and like it says, it's just a collection of poetry from the 20th century, so it seems very varied, and I'm sure it'll be a good collection to pick up. The next book I have to show you today is a novel and that is When in Rome by Nageo Marsh. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right. If I'm not, I'm sorry. It doesn't have the name on the cover, only on the spine. I just picked this one up because it had such a beautiful red and gold cover and it seems quite old as well. And I've also picked up another old book like this in the past, so it matches and I like that. And it seems like this is about someone in a new place and I'm not too sure who the author is or where they're from, but it seems like a different perspective than my own, which will be cool. Probably gonna go into this not knowing anything so I hope I enjoy it. If you know what this is about please let me know. <laughs> and the last book I have to show you today matches my aesthetic and that is Am I Too Loud by Gerald Moore. A yellow and blue book which I think is really cool. Again don't know anything about this one apart from that it's a novel very old book. Am I Too Loud? It sounds perfect for someone who's interested in music and audio, so happy to get into this one. And that was my haul for today. If you stuck around till now, thank you so much for watching. It means a lot to me. I'm Jade the Beamer. If you hauled any of these things, please let me know so we can just fangirl about them and how cool they are. Please let me know what did you get for Christmas or since Christmas? What's on your wish list for 2020? Let me know in the comments down below. Here are all of my socials. I'm on Instagram, Twitter and Goodreads. I'd love it if you reached out. Make sure you're subscribed down below. Feel free to like this video if you enjoyed this haul, if you enjoyed this new setup. I'd really love the feedback. I recently finished reading The Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes by Suzanne Collins, our much-awaited prequel for the Hunger Games trilogy. I have so much to say about this and my full 
review of this book is going up next week so stay tuned for next Monday when I'll be posting this video. This book is a doozy. Take care, go buy some books if you want and I'll catch you next time. Goodbye!